evening, everyone, and welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper, for the final Monday in August, I guess, isn't it? So, next Monday is Labor Day here in Canada, and we have a Labor Day picnic with free corn, and uh, anyway, games for kids and face painting and entertainment and stuff, so hopefully it'll be good weather. If it's not good weather, they always have it in the uh, community center. So, yeah, free corn, corn boil, and lots of fun from noon until 3 in the afternoon. And so I should still be home in time to uh, stream next week. Whew, and then the next Tuesday, kids start school. So it will be a big week next week. <laughs> Thanks, Dee Dee. So... It is scary that almost, August is almost done, Carol. So, I, so one thing I was trying to, Dee Dee did some great layers and got some great pulls and stuff like that. But she was also trying to figure out how I do my pulls that get the really cool, like, abstract backgrounds. And so I was trying to tell her that it's by doing several pages over and over and letting the leftovers build up on your plate and then doing a pull, not doing, of course, doing a pull every time with the leftover paint is cool as well. But it's not as abstract kind of thing. So some of my favorites are when I let the paint build up and build up and build up after four or five pulls and then do a pull. So I'm going to do some different pulls and I'm going to show her and uh, Dee Dee and anyone else who wishes to <laughs> some other layering techniques. Because um, Dee Dee, always, she loves to do her layers and her stencils and, and do the one layer and then like use that. Now, of course, because she does collage, it leaves her more open to add more, I guess, to the page. So I'm going to show how you can do multi layers on your paper. Um, by letting one layer dry and then doing another and doing another and doing another. Now, usually the most I do is four layers, but it just depends on the page itself. So I think I'll start out with my violet blue and let's do, let's do, um, need to open up and see what I've got in here. I want to do purple. Where's my purple? Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see my purple. So violet, blue, and purple. So my first layer, this is just my, this is what I've discovered I like. There's no right or wrong recipe. But my first layer, I like to do two colors usually, sometimes three, but usually two and do just a textured background. So, let me get my paper here. All right. Welk, yep. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> okay. So Turn it over so it doesn't stick to my paper. Okay. Now, get my texturizer here. Let's see. I'm going to use, I just pull whatever. This is one that's kind of like a, the ha, like a hound's tooth.
Okay, so there's layer one. All right, now that's gonna go up there. Now obviously there's still um, stuff left here, so I'm gonna grab a piece of deli paper Oops. to do my ghost print cleanup on. If I can get it out of the box here. Well, I only want one, I don't need like five. That's fine, there we go. So that'll pick up the rest of that paint, but not it. Actually, it won't pick up all of it, which is what's interesting because it is going to leave some behind, which is fine with me. So there's that. Now I'm going to build up on that. All right. I'm going to build up more on this one, but while this one's drying, I'm going to make another one. So of course, I think I'll use my green yellow because, you know, I just have to. My green, yellow, and my green, blue. And I think this time I'm going to do stripes. Now this time, on this layer, I'm going to use a stencil. Oh no, sorry, this is texture layer still. Never mind. This is still a first layer. Sorry, this is an, a first layer on a new print. I forgot where I was for a second. Okay. Oh, I got so many wires, I gotta go. Some One of these days I have to just fix my all right this is a cool this was a pack of actual rubber stoppers that you're supposed to peel off and put on the bottom of things so they don't um move around on you i bought it at dollar store so it's a buck i took them off the backing and put them on a piece of chipboard that was left over from another cut put a little chipboard handle on it and it becomes a stamp texture. I think I'll do this one on black and see what happens. Mm. Okay, there's the first layer. A little texture. Okay, you can see where it transferred that. Just a subtle texture, not a whole lot. Okay, transferred some of the green to the blue area, transferred some of the blue to the green area as I was stamping without cleaning off in between on purpose. Now I'm going to grab my, where did it go? <laughs> the heck did I do with my deli paper? <clears throat> I don't know what I did with my rub off deli paper. Okay, that's all right. I'll just grab a piece of typewriter print printer paper. That's okay. Thank you, Dee Dee. That's those PBOs. PBO, PBO. Gotta love the PBO. Uh oh. It blew. My, it's probably what happened to my deli paper too, probably blew away on me. I just didn't notice it because my fan is on. Okay, so this is going to pull some of that. Okay, so there's the second pull. You can see those 
that circular stamp again. Okay. Now, let's see where I am as far as this goes. Is it dry? Not quite, so I'm going to take out my heat gun and dry it off. It's almost dry, but not quite. Metallic, the uh, PBOs aren't quite dry. So now I'm going to do a second layer on this one and it's going to be a stenciled layer. Okay. While I get me again out, I'm just gonna do this too, so then I'll be ready to do a layer on that. Okay, so okay, let's see. So on top of here, in order to get a good contrast, I think I will try. Hmm. Let's see. What have I got up here? I want a sort of dark combo maybe or something that's at least somewhat opaque actually I think I'm going to go for orange and yellow and now notice also that I'm kind of getting my paints ready and then I'm going to pick my stencil before I put any paint down so that I'm ready. Let's use, huh, I think I'll use this one. This one. Now, just because I do it this way doesn't mean anyone else on earth has to do it this way. This is the way I like to do my backgrounds. So, have fun and play and do what you like to do. Okay. Oops. Stencil on. Okay. And this on. Now, on this one, you have to make sure that you get down in those stencil area. And I, I just pick it up without totally moving it, just to, have to test out, make sure I've gotten all the spots. It doesn't matter if it's perfect, but sometimes you want it a little more perfect than others. All right, so that's added a bit of a stencil there. Now, before I pick it up, I'm just going to see if there's any more stent uh paint left in this stencil to pick up because i want those circles to be completely bare when i do my next layer okay so there was a little bit left there a little bit now when i take this off i'm actually going to use this as my second layer on this one. 
and I will use the back here for a clean off. gave us a little bit of a hint there a starting layer and now the orange of course is quite translucent half of it was left on the thing so you get a more subtle look here with this with those PBOs peeking through that orange so that's ready for a third layer <coughs> So Dee Dee got our, the zines in the mail today. Yay! So who knows how long it's going to take for them to get to Mars. Probably two weeks. It usually takes two weeks to get to us up here on Mars. So let's see. I've got circles. Let me put this away. Um... What will I do for my next layer? I think for my next layer, I might, I don't know where the heck this stencil was. Um, oh, I guess there, I didn't realize I went that far ahead. Okay. So I think, let me see, let's do, uh, ooh, ooh, okay, I want to use this one on one of them. And this one, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Didi, that's funny. Didi says, I feel like I'm listening to the Julia Child <laughs> Jelly Print Show. <laughs> Too funny. Oh, great. All right. So, all right. Now I want to get darker with my paints because each layer kind of, all right. So for this one, all right. I think both of these might be ready for Do that one on that one, and I'm going to do the star on this one, I think. No, I'm going to do star on the other one. All right, so for this one, I think um, I'm going to get a nice dark plum, I think, wine. I think I'm going to do a wine color. Hmm. think so but what I'm going to do is I want to do the opposite on this so I'll start one print I think I'll do it on that other page okay so a nice dark color here I don't want to, okay, this is a mask. Now, I don't want to do it this way, okay, because 
I want the actual stencil part to go on to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my first print on this one. <laughs> Dee Dee, that's funny. No, but I've got coffee. A sip, sip, time for a sip. Okay, so that will take off. Oh, and I'm going to have to, ooh, ooh, that's, look at that, kind of pretty with that uh, other stuff showing through there. And, oh, I've got to find a safe place for that. And I'm going to take a piece of deli paper, actually, because there's still quite a bit of paint there that I want to pick up before I do my other print. <laughs> yes, it is, it is Craft Smart Wine. It's a very nice layer for the top, for a pop without being black. So it's dark enough to add a nice distinct layer, but not be black. <laughs> I may have to turn my fan down a bit because my paper is really blowing. So now this is what I want to put on this. Okay. So you have to think about what you want, what shape you want, because I didn't want to hide all of the other layers I wanted to add. Now I think this one's still going to need black on it, even with this pop of wine color. Yeah, that deli paper was sent to me by, um, Patty Tully Parish, and I will fill in these edges too, or else I will cut them off, keep the strips, and use the strips as strips for something else. So it won't get wasted, even though it's larger than the jelly plate. So let's take off that stencil. I want to leave that there so I can use it. There we go. So now that adds to that. Now this does need, in my opinion, it does need pops of white and black. So I will be doing my white and black circles on this. Okay. Now, this one I want to do the same idea. I want to do a pull and then I want to do the opposite of this but I am going to actually use I'm going to use my blue black for this one if I can find it in here yeah there it is right now I should have one that's almost empty use it first before I use my new one okay so blue black now after I do these prints then I will do a pull, which will get me that more random pull. I have to add my white and my black, though, to the... It's more... It looks like a Payne's Gray to me when I see it on my plate. And then when you look one way, it's... Uh, got a real nice blue shimmer and the other way it's so it's more of a Payne's gray than it is a black in my opinion hey OJ nice to see you the wine it's craft smart wine This was from my dollar store, Dollarama. Okay, so this is my star here. I'm going to do this way. 
And of course I want to add it I don't know what's stuck on that. I have no idea what's on the other side of this, but. Huh. Very strange. Okay. So I'll do my first lift on a piece of typewriter paper because I want the star to show up, not the negative of the star. and it is the one from Sam's Club, I think, because Patty sent it to me. I think that's where she got it. Patty Tully Parish. Weighs a ton, too. Cost her a fortune. She sent it to me when she sent me the... Uh, oh, I have to do a page in my journal. Another page in my journal. All right, so there's that. Very cool pull there. Now, pick up the star and it's going to get transferred onto this print. And this got bent. The plastic got bent. Oh well. This is one of my designs. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did, Carol. I brought out the wine. Oh, I see. I see. I didn't get any of uh, Patty's stencils this time because it was right before, like, the end of the month of my payday, and I didn't get any, so... I put it on the wrong thing! Oh crap, I just ruined that one! Dang it all! Jeesh Louise! I put it on the wrong paper! <sighs> well, that's a mess. I had to figure out what to do with that. <clears throat> that's what I get. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. So I'm going to do that same thing again because I wanted to put it on this paper. Ugh! Oh. Actually, I think I'm going to do it the other way this time. <clears throat> Jeez, Louise. Someone should have yelled at me. I put it on the wrong page. Ugh. I've got this plastic canvas. I'm just going to uh, do a design on the edges here too so that it's not just flat paint. So I think I'm going to do it this way this time. Put it right on there. I don't usually use the brayer. I'm only using the brayer because that paint, excuse me, is all wet. But I think I'll put my deli paper over here so I can use my fingers in that stencil. All right, let's see what works out. I've already ruined one page today, but it might work if I cut it out as, there we go. That looks cool. I like that. Ha <laughs> 
LJ, yeah. Well, no, what I'm going to do is I'll fix it with some white. I will fix that with white and a stencil. Just watch, I will fix it. Okay, now let's just see. Um, just going to do some white before I do a clean up here. So I am simply going to find my white. My white, wherever that is, right here. And plastic plate here to use as a palette. circles. I want medium size circles. Oh there, that'll work perfect. Center from a the center from a grab a card to kind of spread this out so I've just got a little paint here and I'm just going to spread it out so it's a little flatter so I don't get too many big globs and I'm going to do some lines circles. This will be my pop of white. And this white will really fix up the icky mess that I made on that other one by having too many dark layers. And I just need a couple of white stripes over here. Okay, so that should fix this up quite nicely. All right. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Dee Dee and the LJ. <laughs> yeah, looks like stovetop burners. It's supposed to be kind of like wells or, or round tunnels I was trying to make. And you had to add the lines to join the layers so there we go 
That helps. Going to do a few just right onto here because it just needs a little bit more pop. Kind of draws the eye away from the mess that's underneath it. for something. All right. Now I'm going to do a pull. So since I have some white there, I'm actually going to use a cream. Maybe if I can find it. I thought I had a cream out, but this is white. What happened to my cream? I know I had a cream out. Because I saw it earlier. Hmm. Alrighty, let's see what I got here. Um. Going to do cream pull. So, trick for a pull is you need to use a nice thin layer of paint, just enough that'll get wet and pull all the layers from underneath. If you use too thick, it's not going to pull anything up except itself. So, let's see what I get. Nice thin layer over the whole plate. I always leave it for just a second. Hey, Deborah, nice to see you. Okay. So white or black can fix up a lot of your problems. And if you have a lot of problems, just gesso over the whole thing. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so when you're doing a pull or a cleanup, you need to rub a little longer because you want that layer of whatever color you're using to put. You can use any color to pull. I like to, if I'm pulling on black, I use, like to use black paint. If I'm pulling on cream, I like to use cream paint. If I'm pulling on white, I like to use white. Because what I want to see when I do my pull is I want to see what's left on the plate. I don't want to see the color necessarily that I'm pulling up with. Although, I could have used an orange and still pulled everything up. But if you use a neutral, you kind of get a more effective kind of result in my opinion anyway, my experience. So I always use the same color paint as close as I have to my paper so that I don't actually see that paint I'm using for the pull. So. And these ones turn out much more like a, just a like background that you can add to. They're really fun. You never know what you're going to get because you don't know what's left on the plate. Okay, we've still got some white. That white's not going to pull up because it's still wet. Oh, yay, Mayo! Oh, you didn't like the homemade one? Well, you'll like the real one. The real one's really good. I love it. Actually, you know, I've been tempted, instead of buying the 5 by 7 I've been tempted to buy another 8 and a half, uh, eight by 10 
and cut it up to five by seven and be left with some smaller extras for tags and stuff. That's what I've been tempted to do because it's not that much more to buy another eight by 10, especially if you get it when it's on sale. And so I think that might be what I do. I might get another eight by 10, cut a five by seven, and uh, you, I'll be left with a, you know, one for a three by whatever tag. So, uh, anyway, okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, you're going to love this, Dee Dee. There we go. Look at that. See? Because I used the cream, basically what shows up is all the other stuff that was left to pull. I mean, at least I know it's a product that I use. So if I bought another 8x10 and cut some down, then I know I would use it, right? So. No, it won't melt, Linda. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> so, yeah, it is very, very, very rustic. Almost like a granite-type background, so... You can see some texture in there. You can see the dots. So, very cool. You can see part of the star there. Okay, so that's that. All right. So that won't get another layer. That will stay because that will be a great page for a journal. For a journal. Um, Okay, so now I am going to, um, let's see. Oh, yes, I wanted to try. I have, I want to try do some more of those ones where, like, the Carol got accidentally with the, um, print, magazine print. So I want to see, I want to see of this. This is just my alumni book from Dow. I just want to see if it's going to leave like so we ended up uh, Carol ended up getting some so she printed on this but then the the ink of the print of the picture and the words is a different creates a different absorbency in the paper so it doesn't absorb so it leaves paint behind in the words and then it'll transfer to your next sheet. So, I'm going to use, what color? Let's see, I think I'll do a red and a bright yellow. So I'm going to do bright yellow <laughs> and bright red. Bright yellow and bright red. And of course I'll get orange where they combine. Hi Kathy! Oh, nice. I had two hours of school today, staff meeting, so that was good. Got home about the time I'm usually crawling out of bed. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to go up over 30 again tomorrow, today and tomorrow. Just because we're back in school, we get nice weather again. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I just specifically am trying to get a transfer here. So I'm going to put this down with the whale's tail. See if I get the words and the whale's tail. So I'm just going to do a rubbing here. So hello, if I miss saying hi to you as you came in, I apologize. I want to say hi. <sighs> oh, I 
think it worked. Okay, so there's that print. I can still see, I can use that. But what I want is what's left here. So I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to get my hair dryer here. And I'm going to let that paint dry. Don't worry, I'm using my cool button. Now I want to use a good contrasting color here. Hey, Dixie! Your teacher voice? Yes, Carol. <laughs> yes, please do. Um... I think I'll use my red um, blue here. It's down on the bottom here. Ugh. Red blue. My red blue. <clears throat> oh no, that's not going to show up because I've got red on there. Duh, Jean. Heesh. I think I'll just use my blue black. I'll use my blue black and we'll see if our the tail shows up and the word print we'll see I don't know if it's the right kind of magazine paper or not but we shall see shan't we we shall see I think I put too much paint on her. All right, I'm gonna roll, roll this off on the back of my pull-off print because there's lots of paint left there. Take some of it back off again. This is too much, too much paint. Let's see if we got any part of a transfer or not. Uh, it's not really a transfer technically, it's just paint left. Okay. So let's see, I know um, it was you used a paint, you used a page that had print and blank areas and picture. So I know, and I've had it work a couple of times. So we'll see if this works or not. It's like a, it's like a pull up. So I have to leave it for a while here till it dries. I think I still have too much black paint on. See, I had too much blue-black paint on there. Darn it all. Oh, well, I'll just leave it for a little while longer till it completely dries. Okay, Jane. Oh, okay. Stay safe, LJ. I had too much black paint on there. You have to be careful when you're using black for your pulls because it takes so much less paint when you're using black than any other color because of the concentration of pigments and whatever. It takes very little black to cover your plate and I use too much as usual. Yep, I use too much paint. 
right? You can see the look. You can see the you can see the tail of the whale. Look, and you can see some of the words. So it did work. I just used too much black paint. See? You can see it. There's the title. There's the word. And there's the tail, the whale tail. So it worked. It worked. But I just used too much paint. So I think this time what I'll do is I'll try it without adding the second layer. I'll try just pulling the uh, yellow color. So yeah, so that's kind of cool. So let's see if I just do a second pull um, after the magazine page and see what happens. So where is my magazine? Let's pick another page. Let's see what I've got here. Let's see. Hmm. There's not that much that's interesting with it being a, well, I could, there's a chart. Ooh, I wonder if that would pick up. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, I'm going to do this. See if I can get the we need to talk. Ooh, that'll work. Let's see. Let's see if I can get that to pick up. Because that would make a cool title. We need to talk. Okay, so let's do greens here. Let's do some greens. So I'm going to do these two greens. So I've got light green and lime green, both craft smart. Let's see here. going to get paint all over it. Oh well. I want to do it this way. I want to have that we need to talk kind of right in the so let's put this over top of that like this so I can rub okay so yeah I think I used too much paint but we shall see So now instead of putting another layer over it, I'm going to just take a piece of white. I'm going to want to do white cardstock this time to probably show up better on white cardstock. And let's see what happens. What happens is wherever that ink is, it doesn't absorb the paint into the paper as much as where there is no ink. So it leaves that image of the text and or the photos 
on the jelly plate, but I think I used too much paint. As usual, I'm always over generous with the paint. We shall see, but I'm going to try the face because I want to see if that works. Let's see what happens here. It's almost like a pull. Actually, you know what? It pulled up some of the, it didn't pull up the we need to talk, but it pulled up more of the letters from the layer before. I still ended up with a cool, still a cool print. Just didn't pull up the letters because I used too much paint. <clears throat> yeah, it does look like coral seaweed, doesn't it? And you can see there are words here from that last pull, but the we need to talk is not there. Because I used too much paint. <laughs> So I'm going to do, I'm going to try the face and I'm going to use less paint and I think I'm going to use black and see if it'll work. That's still cool. See, you can see some words. There's no we need to talk there. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so let's pull off the face here. Let's pull off that face. Where is he? Where did he go? Wait a minute, I think he was after that chart. There he is. Let's try him. Let's try and see what happens. So I'm going to use black so it'll do a good contrast and let's see what happens. I think I'll just use blue black. Let's use my blue black and we'll go nice and thin here. I'll start with a little. I can always add more. I can't take it away. It's harder to take it away. You can take it away. It's harder though. There we go. That looks pretty good. Nice thin layer. Okay. Here we go. Let's lay him down. Hey, Sharon. No, I think it, it'll leave the black paint behind. It'll leave, it'll leave black paint behind where the face is. So then the paint, black paint should pull and leave the shape of the face. So you're not really pulling, you're not pulling the ink from the paper. Ooh. Oh, I don't think it worked. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yeah. I think I left it on too long. Let's see. Well. I think I'm going to have to put, I'm going to have to put a light color on. I can see his face, but I'm going to have to lift it with a li like a pull. I'm going to leave it for a second, let it dry. <laughs> you can see his eyes and his mouth. I can see it there, but I'm going to have to lift it with white. I just want to make sure it's dry so I don't smear what's left there. Let me just get my hair dryer.
So I'm just wait, trying to wipe it off with the, a little bit, get the blue black off so I have a good contrast here at the white. Pulling some of this back off. It's a little bit too thick. All right. White chip or cardstock here. Hello, nice to see you, Sharon. I am trying a transfer from a piece of paper from a magazine, sort of a transfer. Not really transferring the ink. We've just discovered that Carol discovered when she was pr using her some uh, printed paper from a magazine that it left behind the print. on the paper because the paint or whatever ink was used eh, whatever ink was used for the photos and the print and the text on a magazine doesn't allow the paint to get absorbed onto the paper so it leaves the image on the jelly plate somewhat. Yeah, you can see him there. A bit of a ghost. A ghost of a man, but he is there. Does that look? He is there. So it worked. Yep. So there you go. That is kind of neat. Kind of neat, I think. I think it's kind of neat. So that's a Sunset Carol discovery. And I'm proving that it works. <laughs> yeah, that's called Run Under. Okay, hold on, I need to do another little hand cleaning episode here for a minute. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you, Dee Dee. Okay. I learned how not to make mud thanks to this jelly plate, which is nice. Learned a little bit about the color wheel. So, yes, when we were having our day long jelly print extravaganza, there was Carol and JJ and myself and we Hootie. Who else was there, Carol, for a while? Coming and going. JJ or was it Darcy? JJ, I think. Or, I mean, John, I mean. And then Carol and I were on at the end and she did this magazine thing with the National Geographic and it was like, oh, that is cool, Carol. I have to figure it out. What did you do? And we were like, I don't know what I did. So. Well, I don't know if I have anything in this magazine that would work. A nature magazine would be really cool. I have magazines, photograph, photographers magazines somewhere and they would have lots of cool pictures that this would work with. But I don't know if there's anything in this magazine that would work because I think it's, it's all pretty shiny.
Riverview Skate, this is our town events calendar, all the different things you can join and what they have for kids, the pool, the skate park, yoga, exercise, the gym. 10 must do's in Riverview. Yes, we have our corn boil on Labor Day, which is next Monday, this coming Monday, next week. Oh yes, Mitzi was there for a while. Oh, I wonder if that snowman would turn out. That would be cool. Ooh, you know what I... Hmm. Remembrance Day, Harvest Festival, Open House, Free Family Movies. Yes, they have a, a Free Family Movies. Oh, Community Garden. They even have a Community Garden now. Hmm. But I have a feeling this one won't work. It's the, it's all, the whole page is kind of shiny. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can do one more page here. Let's see if we can find one more cool photograph. That will work. Justice. Hmm, let's see, well there's that chart, there's a pie chart there, this is just a whole list of names of people who donated, alumni, uh, Dal's colors are black and gold, hmm, new if there's anything else that's cool. Well, I guess I can move to some more doing. Ooh, I'm going to try and see if this will work. Hold on. if I can get this to print so I'm actually yeah so I'm going to do that okay so let's use two yellow no let's use teal and yeah oh that's not the right one Actually, I'll do this one and just a second here. There. Not big difference in color. So I'm going to use pale blue, I think, or something, and turquoise. I don't know if it's pale blue or what it is, but anyway. paint this time.
Yeah, we don't have a color laser though. We only have a black and white laser printer, unfortunately. But I could try some black and white stuff. But I think it has not just, I don't think it's just the ink. I think it's the fact of the glossy paper and then the ink on the glossy paper. So whether it would work with just regular paper, I don't know. But that's a good challenge. We'll have to see. Oh, okay, Dee Dee. Okay. Well, that's true because it, yeah, duh. That's right. You're right, Carol, because, oh, this one, this one is working really well because you can see it right off. Hold on. If I can get the paper from not sticking. There, see? You can see it right on there. You can see it worked perfectly in this one. Exactly. Of course, Carol, you're right because, <laughs> duh, Jean. We're not printing the colors, we're just printing the shapes. <sighs> right, so I'll have to make up a list and send myself a file and get some stuff printed. Of course, most of the time we print to our photocopier, which isn't a laser printer, but, well, I guess it's the same idea. It's toner, isn't it? So that would still work. And I used too much paint. I didn't think I put much paint on, but, yeah, it wasn't craft paint, so... I guess that's why. Overflowed my jelly plate here. I'll t I can take some off here. There we go. Alright, and it's down on the bottom part here anyway. So, <clears throat> let's get a cream colored cardstock. Is acting as a resist. I'm, I'm gonna try. I have an old paper page book here. I'm just gonna see if it works. Paint's not free, but I'm making cool stuff. Listen, it's better than me spending my money on food and fattening myself up even more than I already do. So, hey, I'll spend it on paint. Goes a long way. Cool. Very cool. I still had a little bit too much paint, but look at that. On sale for 49 cents here. We're usually lucky if it's on sale for 79 and I've never even seen that. Okay, so all right. There, well there's that. So there's text there. Oh, sorry, 
Kathy. All right. Although I did get a good buy on some PBOs I added. They had them on sale, so even though I wasn't out, I bought some. Because Deb Crafty, of course, gave me uh, a nice haul of PBO paints, but um, Desairs had them on sale for like $4.29, and I, I had to buy some at that price. So, there's that. All right, now, I don't know what to do. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired, I could probably go to bed and go to sleep. But I'd only sleep for three or four hours, and then I'd be up again. Ugh. Okay. So, I think... I don't know what I want to do, you guys. I don't know. Tell my mouth. An hour and 15 minutes, that's all? <laughs> it seems like forever. <laughs> oh, this is a long day. Bye, Dee Dee. <laughs> I still got a little paint here, so I'm just going to put it on there and just do a quick uh, pick up here. <laughs> anything okay um I'm going to switch I think to my I'm gonna have to make myself get up at school time tomorrow because next week because I've just got to start getting up at my work time so that I get more used to it so no more sleeping in for me I'm going to switch to my ink pads. That's why I am cleaning my jelly plate. Otherwise, normally I don't clean it. I finally got a new brayer here. For my ink pad ones. Okay, so. Now, let's find. Okay, so I've got my cityscape up there already still. Um. Where are my, oops, <laughs> I think I've got bubble wrap on the floor underneath my tires. Oh, there's my, that's what I was looking for, my roller doodle thingies. And uh, this, and maybe this, and oh, where am I? 
Ah, uh, there's roller doodle thingies. They're in here, I know they are, because... Oh, there's another one. Okay, there's one more in here somewhere. Excuse me, I'll be right back a second. I've got a, I've got some foam pieces right over here that I can use with my ink pads here somewhere. I'm going to have to put some, together some journals this week because I have lots of papers. Whew. Hi, Erica. Nice to see you. Oh. Okay. So let's start with... now because I'm going to my inks. I'm going to start with, let's see here, I've got weathered wood, and then broken china, and salty ocean. Weathered wood on the bottom. Who saw where I put the cover? There it is. Broken china is going to go in the middle. Overlapping a little bit. Another 
it off in between. And salty ocean. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp these leaves. I'm going to use peel paint. that's going to work. I guess the only way to find out is it seems to just be soaking into the foam. So we'll see. We'll see if it actually transfers to the plate at all. Oh, I think it is. I think I can kind of see it. This is really cool. I love doing this because it's even more of a surprise than when you're using acrylic paints. Because you can only sort of see the darker colors on it. And you, you don't really get any idea at all what it's going to turn out like in the end. Now let's just see what we got. I'm just going to use typewriter paper for this. Did. Oh my goodness, see it worked a lot better than I thought. Look at that. Very cool. Although we need some more over on this corner. There we go. <laughs> but it works much better going on jelly paint than direct. Very cool. You can see the difference of going directly onto the paper and going onto the jelly paint and then onto the paper. Very neat. Uh-oh. Everybody got booted from chat by the look of it. Come on, guys. Grab under a rope. Come back to me. Come back to me. Everybody got booted. Well, not everybody, but lots of people. Even the bot got booted from chat. <laughs> oh, come back. Know if there's any left on there or not. I'll just try a second page just to see. Yes, you're back, Dixie. Whew. Everybody got booted that time. I'll come back, Erica. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. So it picks it up pretty well mostly the first time. All right, so let's see. What colors will I do this time? This time, let's do, oh, I got out here still. Let's see. Ooh, okay, I'm going to do, let's see. I'll do that, this and this, I guess, okay. So I'm going to do rusty hinge on the bottom, 
scattered straw and mustard seed. So let's see. What did I do with those? Oh, there they are, my shapes. Okay, right there. So these are what I went to get. They are textured stars. So there's a star that has ziggy zags. Um, let's see here. That's a plain star. There's a star that has dots. What's on this one? Hmm. And that's just a plain star. There's a larger star that has zigzags. So some of them are textured, some of them aren't. Some of them are not. Just want to be ready. There's one with dots, but it's like the negative. So I'll use that. Okay. So, that one may have to go on another one the same size so I can actually use it because it's pretty thin. I think it'll fit on this yellow one. So, I think I'm going to... So I'll peel off the back of this yellow one. Hi, Kyla. Oh, the ink pole. Here's the ink pole. There you go. Here we go, rusty hinge on the bottom. Yeah, couldn't really think of doing much else today because I couldn't plan a project. I have to start planning my Christmas presents though, so I'll be starting to do Christmas presents, which will be, I will be giving them some layouts for Christmas of the new baby addition to the family, Elisa. But I'll have to do something else to go along with it, but we shall see. I'll be giving them some layouts for their scrapbook that I gave them last year. All right, scattered straw in the middle. mustard seed on the top. Now, I think, So what I was going to use was the red. Where did the red go? Hmm. Yeah, now I got it all over me. So this is a foam star.
trying to print up this foam star. With, rest, with the barn door ink, which seems to be a little bit dry, but whatever. takes a little extra to get it inked up because it kind of gets soaked into the foam a little bit. One going off the edge and I'll have to do one more star. I'll do a smaller squiggly one. Let's do this roller design here. It's kind of like flowers, sort of. So I'm going to ink it up on my burn door. Yes, you're still here, Linda. Everybody's kind of working along my way though today, I think. A lot of people are. And this one is a star kind of opposite so I'm going to use that somewhere Let's just see what I ended up with here. just playing and I'm getting really tired so <laughs> may not last too much longer today cool Who's playing, Dixie? Oh, poor Carol's got a woodpecker trying to ruin her house. How terrible is that? Okay, this distress ink is not coming off my thumb. Oh. Thank you, Kyla. Very cool working with the distress inks on the uh, jelly plate. Very cool. I needed something up there, but it's hard to. I have to be better, I guess, at, at remembering where I put things when I put stuff down because <laughs> I should have put this up here and then it would have worked better. Looked better, but anyway. It's hard to see where stuff is with the with the um, ink, but so that's kind of cute. So you can see with those um, foam stars, it kind of as at the same time as it 
lays ink down, it also picks ink up. So you can see that it kind of removed some of the yellow and at the same time added the red. So it's kind of neat. See ya, Erica. Bye-bye. All right, I'm going to do one more because I know Joycey wanted one that I did last time. So I'm going to make her one. Weathered wood on the bottom. I did the three blues the same. So, and then I'm going to use, I left it on here. I have to make her some more of these as well. But she wanted one of these scenes with the cityscape. So I'm going to make one for Joycey. Right, exactly. Oh, I love, actually, I really love the ink too, um, Erica. It's very cool. It's really neat to work with. Okay, so this is the weathered wood, which I'm going to do as kind of like the sidewalk here. And the two blues, the broken china and the salty ocean for the sky. I have to do the salty ocean first. It's the bright part gets darker up above first. So that's the background colors. Now I can pretty well see where my cityscape is going to go here. Except where did I sit it? There it is. And it's going to get inked up with black soot. Don't go using archival inks or any permanent inks on your jelly plate because it will permanently stain it. I don't think it would ever hurt it, but it will stain it. Of course, mine's always full of paint anyway, so I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> okay. So this is a close to my heart stamp. Canadian will let me know if he wins. Let me know if he wins. I hope Eugenie wins and goes a, a long way. Eugenie made it to at least the semifinals of all the all the other three Grand Prix so far in the women's side. So it's like, <clears throat> and she made it to the final of the Wimbledon. So I really hope she does well in the U.S. Open. I could splatter them with water if I liked that effect. I'm not really, you know me, I'm not really into that whole splatter thingy. Okay, so there's my city. Okay. This is for Joycey. <clears throat> Mm. 
No, that's not, uh, that's not the Canadian. That's not the Canadian. That's the Polish guy versus the, well, I don't know if he's from Russia or from where, but Varinka is the Polish guy. There we go. <laughs> Pulled up some other stuff from other things I've printed, so that's kind of cool too. Give it a little texture. Oh right, two day today's the first day, yeah. Well I'll have to turn the TV on because I do like watching tennis. go through what I did today so this there was that one and this one and this one that I did with the distress inks then with the paints I did that's kind of my favorite one from today I think so I'll save that to the end that one's kind of cool too so then course these are just the papers that I did the transfer from where's the transferred one okay so that was the paper there's the transfer that's what left behind and then this was the man's face and here's oops here's his face that stayed that transferred that's just a piece of pull off deli paper that was extra stuff and this one didn't work I was trying to pull the words, I used too much paint and I was trying to pull the words, I can't even remember what it was, but this is what I ended up with doing actually a pull from other colors. I got some words from the one I did previously. Here is the magazine page where I was trying to get the text here and the tail of the whale. And so here's the page. I got the tail of the whale, and there's the text. You can see the text coming through there subtly. And that's just a roll off page. Oh no, there, there, that was a clean up print. Yeah, it turned out cool, didn't it, Dixie? Now this was one that I ended up accidentally putting the star on the wrong page so I tried to kind of compensate the mistake and the too many layers by adding some white. So it's okay, this one will have to get cut up to distract the final ickiness of it. Then this is was what I pulled with my star stencil. That's kind of a 3D star. You can see the 3D effect there. And then there was this one. This one also with the star. So there you go. That was today's work. So thank 
you, Carol. Yeah, they did turn out kind of nice. So I'll have to decide which ones are going to go going to go into a journal. I don't know what I'll do with that face one because it's kind of like the whole size of the page. But anyway, we shall see. Yep. I really like. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kyla. So um, I'm going to sign off a wee bit early tonight. I was on time for a change. So <laughs> so I am going to sign off because, as you know, I was up today to go into work for the first time since December. So it, <laughs> even though it was only a couple of hours, I was up early. So I am going to sign off and I will see you all on Twitter or wherever later on. See you. Thanks for coming. <laughs>